What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and it's a urethane showdown. Purple versus black. Purple Hammer versus Black Hammer 78. I'm gonna get these on the lanes with Specto running and compare them heads up and see the differences of what to look for when you're shopping for a new urethane ball. But before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's see what purple does against black. All right, we're talking about urethane once again, Purple Hammer versus the Black Hammer 78 Hardness, the new one that's for tour, and it's gonna be out in pro shops in March. Now, Purple Hammer, everybody asks, how much different is that from the black? We're gonna find out. I have Specto running, we're bowling on Crown Jewel pattern, just a house shot, just what I normally bowl on, and we're gonna see the difference. And as always, urethane balls don't get softer. So let's throw some shots, we're not going to rely too heavily on the Specto data. We're going to give this more of an eye test here and just see. We're just going to throw some shots and see if we notice any differences. I've used both of these quite a bit, obviously, but the surfaces are pretty close to the same right now. We're just going to see kind of the tendencies of each ball. I think that's the point of this whole video is where is the black hammer going to fit? Now obviously there are some differences out of the box between the two. The surface prep on a black hammer is different than a purple hammer. It's a little bit duller. So you got to take that into account. And that's partially because with the 78 hardness as opposed to the purple, which is around 74, uh, a little bit more surface is, is needed to get that ball to kind of pick up in that same spot. We wanted it to be a purple hammer replacement and sure enough, it did its job at the first week there at the Players' Championship. So, let's throw another one here. We're gonna throw a black hammer in that same spot and see if we see anything different. That was just a little bit inside the target right there. So let's throw another one to try to get it right on top of it and see, but just missing like a board in, it two pinned on me. Let's try it again, let's try to get it out just a little more. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I mean, overall consensus on these two balls is that the black hammer is gonna be about three boards less overall hook. So you can use a lot more surface on these. I think out of the box it comes at what, 500 grit? Don't be afraid to use more surface on them. Absolutely, go 360, put it on the Haas machine, 360 for a few minutes. You're gonna like what you see. All right, let's try another shot there. I'm gonna make a two board adjustment to the right. See if I can't get this ball maybe to face up. Hit it. All right, so it's probably about a three board adjustment to the right. All right, so let's make that adjustment. Let's go one more. You know, that was about a half 10 right there. So I'm gonna move one more right. Just gotta get that ball up that, I don't know, seven board-ish. A little in. That's all right. I think the main things you're gonna notice is this ball probably holds pocket just a little bit better. And for those players that maybe tried a purple hammer, didn't quite have the ball speed to kind of keep that ball from rolling too early. Now, mind you, Purple Hammer, urethane in general, you want that ball to start up early. So you gotta have ball speed or you gotta bring that surface up to be able to control it. All right, let's throw purple again. What happens if I throw purple on that same line as black? Will it hold pocket or will it go through the face? So I'm gonna stand in that same spot that three board right adjustment, kind of keep it right there. Yeah, so purple, definitely stronger, a little bit earlier, digs in a little bit more. I mean, that's what we've seen. I don't think there's any surprise here. Now, performance wise, you know, by bringing the 74 up to 78, people thought that that was gonna kill the performance, kill urethane on tour, and absolutely is not happening. So, let's throw some more purple hammer. This is great ball. Timeless ball, iconic. I think you should use it all the time. I'm gonna move back left, at three boards left. <laughs> there it 
it is. Boom. What can I say? I'm the eight pin king. So can you check out my merch on Inside Bowling, collaboration page, Brunsnick, check out all of my designs. So I get questions all the time. Purple Hammer, you know, it's banned, right? You can't use it, right? You can't use it on tour? It's no, it's 100% still legal. You can use these in all USBC leagues, tournaments, nationals. They're using it at the US Open. Hope to see it on the show, but 100% legal. Use all the Purple Hammers you want, 100% legal. All right, let's throw another shot. That eight pin, gotta love it. Uh-oh, that's in the oil, doesn't matter. Yeah, so purple's gonna have more of a tendency to dig in a little harder. When you get into those oilier conditions, when you need that ball to set up just a little bit sooner. And what's great about the black hammer is that when some of that oil goes away, when that front starts to burn up and you start to you lose that look, that urethane look that got you where you're at, you can switch to the black urethane and pick right up where you left off as soon as that spot burns up. And obviously you're bowling on fresh, not gonna happen right now, but if I try in that same spot, I'm gonna have to bring the speed down just a little bit. Uh-oh, that's out wide. Come on. Yeah, see this ball is better going direct, more at it, where if I tried it, like I was in, I missed out. I got back to the pocket, but it hit flat. Came in behind the head pin, that's not what you want. Not from your thing. So where this ball is gonna excel, is it might be even better for a lot of people on house shots or shorts, whatever kind of patterns you're bowling on, but able to play it a lot straighter. Play in the dry, in the muck. Watch that ball. That's a lot harder to do with a purple unless you got a lot of ball speed. You can do it, you can jam it on in there, but you're gonna have to throw it pretty hard to get there. So obviously the boys on tour, this is what they got to play with. They got the new blue and they got the black hammer. So they're gonna make this one work. They've drilled a countless number of these. And this ball, I have not touched the surface on. Whoa! Something came out of the back and hit that 10 pin when it got kicked out. That was awesome. So, obviously, the guys use a lot of surface on tour 180 grit, 360 grit, anything to get that ball to slow down. They're going to have multiples in these, so they can go from ball to ball throughout an eight game block or however many they're going to bowl and maintain that surface the whole time. Now these balls don't shine up very much because it's a true urethane ball. You try to polish this ball, it doesn't really want to polish. All right, I'm gonna throw one more out there. I really like urethane, I can't say that enough. I throw urethane all the time, I throw it in league. You see a lot more urethane nowadays. Ride that rail, come on. Ah, all right. Let's try throwing purple a couple of shots out there. See what happens when we play kind of harder, straighter. Let's see how that one reacts. Maybe it won't labor as much on that same line there. Maybe it will. I have a feeling it's gonna pick up that friction a lot earlier. And maybe four pin, maybe go to the face. I don't know. I'm not Nostradamus. I can't predict the future. If I could, I would have won the lotto already. Hello. Whew. Yeah, that's quite a lot different there playing out in the dry. I mean, that's the difference between not wanting to throw urethane and wanting to throw urethane. So the black looks fantastic from right there. From right there. Purple, not so much. So I need to move in if I want to play that outside. Got to throw it to it a little bit. Still too much. Yeah, so right now on this given pattern, I would say I'd be more comfortable throwing Black Hammer 78 rather than purple. The outsides are hooking a lot. If I miss just a little bit or get soft, purple kind of wants to come off that spot way too hard. And rule of thumb is you never want to move in too far with urethane because you're never going to be able to get that ball to finish on the back. You don't want that ball to recover and finish on the back. You want that ball to start up soon and then go through the pins. All right, let's throw a couple more shots with Black Hammer will wrap up this video. 
I love this ball. I love that we have a couple different options of urethane now, even a not urethane option with the new blue. Hook. Ah. Yeah, that's the only downside, is if you get fast, sometimes I forget what ball I'm throwing. Is that purple or, or is it black? But if you get fast with it, it's gonna wanna skid out a little bit more. So it's important to stay just firm but not overthrow the ball and definitely find the friction. And also shout out to AJ Rice, just shot 900 with his new blue hammer. Awesome feet, showed up on the hammer page just the other day. Right in the rail. All right, that's my take. Purple hammer versus black hammer. What are the differences? I think we saw them in this video. Hope you did. Let me know what you prefer. For you guys that already have a purple hammer, are you gonna get a black hammer as well? I think you should. Totally different bowling balls, but they serve the same purpose, just with a little bit different hook potential. Surfaces obviously can be changed. So duller surface on the black than you would need on the purple normally. So check out the merch, Inside Bowling. Links below in the description. If this video helped you, please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.